Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will understand the general thrust equation of aircraft engines. First, let's look at what is thrust. Thrust is a force which causes an aircraft to move forward. The thrust is generated by the engines by accelerating a mass of gas. The gas is accelerated towards the exit, which causes the engine and the aircraft to start moving in the forward direction. The thrust equation can be obtained from Newton's second law of motion. What is Newton's second law? Newton's second law defines force as the change in momentum of an object with a change in time. Momentum is an object's mass times velocity. The change in time from T1 to T2 is this. For a mass moving from 1 to 2, the force can be written like this. In this equation, if the mass is constant and only the velocity changes with time, a simple force equation is obtained, which is mass times acceleration. Here the mass is applicable only for a solid object. Since air is a fluid, we have to use mass flow rate. Mass flow rate is defined as the amount of mass moving through a plane over time. It is computed as density times velocity times area. Now, let's apply this in the thrust equation for an engine. Since the mass flow rate already has the time component, the momentum of the fluid is mass flow rate times velocity. The force is defined as the change in momentum across the engine. Let the exit of the engine be denoted by E and the entry denoted by O. The force can be written like this. Additional component of thrust. In the thrust equation, we can include an additional component, which is the pressure. If the exit pressure is more than the free stream pressure, it creates an additional forward force, which must be included in the thrust equation. This component is written as the product of difference in the pressure and the exit area. Normally, the pressure component is very small when compared to the momentum component. The jet engine nozzle is designed such that the exit pressure would be equal to the free stream pressure. So the pressure component in the thrust equation becomes zero. Understanding the thrust equation. According to the thrust equation, there are two methods of increasing the thrust of an engine. The first method is to increase the mass flow rate. The mass flow rate can be increased by accelerating a large quantity of air such that the exit air velocity is more than the entrance air velocity. This concept is applicable in propeller engines and high-bypass turbofan engines. The second method of increasing the thrust is to increase the air velocity. This is done by making the exit velocity of the air much greater than the inlet velocity. This concept is applicable in turbojet engines where a small quantity of air is accelerated to a very high velocity when compared to the inlet air velocity. That's all for my video on the thrust equation of an aircraft engine. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.